I'm Dr. Jeff Kingsley and welcome to another edition of Riding in Cars with Researchers. We're going to talk to study sites, maybe to business development people, about your pipeline, about how to look at your pipeline and, and how to improve study award. So research is getting harder. You can't be passive about the research trials that you get. You've got to be aggressive about it. Trials are getting harder. We're putting fewer patients in every trial, so therefore you need more trials. You have to be able to do more and better trials to be successful with research. So first, let's talk about the funnel. That's how you should be looking at your pipeline and your pipeline report. You should look at your funnel in a couple different ways, okay? So the top of the funnel is all the research going on in the world. It's a pretty wide funnel. It doesn't have to be that wide, but it could be. All the research being done in the world. Well, realistically, the funnel, top of the funnel should be all the research being done in your country. But if you're a cardiology-specific research site, then I suppose the top of the funnel should be all the cardiology research going on in your country. And if you don't do phase one, then maybe the top of your funnel is all of the phase two through phase four cardiology research going on in your country. Why could you look at a bigger funnel? Well, because you do have other options. If you're a cardiology-focused site and you're struggling to get enough research, well, you could branch into gastroenterology. And so that's why looking at the higher levels of the funnel could teach you something. You could say, well, I'm going to open up a site in a different country or a different aspect of the country that you're in. But let's table that for now. So the top of your funnel is all of the research going on in the phases that you operate and in the medical specialties that you operate in. That's the top of your funnel. Now, that's all the stuff that you would like to be awarded. Then the next layer down in your funnel is how many feasibility questionnaires you received, right? So you can find out what's all the cardiology research going on, phase two through four in the United States this year. How many feasibility questionnaires did I receive? The difference between those two numbers tells you how well you're known in the industry. How often did the industry know you existed and would be interested in bidding on their project? That's important for you to know because it tells you how well you're getting your message out there. Now, every time you fill out a feasibility questionnaire, that's a study that you wanted. No one ever fills out a feasibility questionnaire on a trial that they don't want. If you know you don't want it, you don't bother filling out the feasibility questionnaire. You contact them, you say, thanks, no thanks. Of all the feasibility questionnaires that you fill out, what percent are you getting called back for a study visit, for a PSV? That's an important conversion rate. I, and what that conversion is telling you is how well you're doing on pitching yourself in feasibility questionnaires could tell you a lot of things. It could tell you that you're filling out feasibility questionnaires that frankly you're just not qualified for and, and so you have a very low conversion rate. It could tell you that you're just not marketing yourself well enough in those feasibility questionnaires. You're not selling why they should be interested in coming and meeting you. So now the le next layer down in your funnel is, is those study visits, those site selection visits or PSVs. Of all the feasibility questionnaires you're filling out, how often are you getting PSVs? Of all the PSVs that you do, how often are you getting study award? That tells you how well you're performing at PSVs. It's important for you to look at your funnel continuously. It teaches you how well you're doing in your business development process, and it teaches you where you should focus next. Continuous improvement is important all these conversion rates. Can I improve my conversion rate even 1% here, there? Can I improve, maybe one of your conversion rates is really, really poor. Can I improve that conversion rate 10% this year? What would it take to improve that conversion rate 10% this year? Drill down. What are all the things, what are all the actions I can take to improve that conversion rate 10% this year? Because improving these conversion rates by default leads to more study awards more study awards will lead to more revenue and more success for you and your site. Okay, so there's the funnel piece. Now let's talk about 
how you get study awards. And I categorize it in three ways. It, it's all really marketing, kind of. But there's really three things. Relationships, databases, and your differentiation. And I've talked differentiation a bunch in Riding in Cars episodes. We are in a, an industry of relationships. It's amazing how many study awards you get because of relationships, because people in the industry know you personally and view you personally as someone they want to do business with, they want to do research with. Relationships are huge. Databases. We, we are a huge industry. There are so many research sites, so many physicians, so many research studies, such complexity, it's easy to get forgotten. Our industry, many times, at the beginning of every trial, when they're beginning to think about sites, they go first to databases. Most sponsors and CROs maintain their own internal database of research sites and physicians, investigators, and then there are also other industry databases that they leverage as well to find research sites. You've got to be in every one of those databases, and it's time consuming. It's not easy. They don't make it easy. They're not trying to make it hard. It's just not easy. It's a lot of detail to be filled out, and it's a lot of detail then to be maintained once you start adding information into these databases. The biggest ones would be things like Drug Dev and SIP, the Shared Investigator Platform, which is something that came out of Transcelerate. All of the Transcelerate companies aren't using SIP, but many are, and it's gaining traction rapidly. You need to get all of your physicians in the Shared Investigator Platform, and you need to get details on what medical specialties they can operate in, their experience in previous research trials, their capabilities, capacities. That's a great way you'll get study award. And then the third thing I mentioned is differentiation. If you have relationships and you have information in databases, but frankly, you're no different than most all the other sites, then perhaps the relationship building and, and the uh, submissions to databases uh, was not all that fruitful. You've got to differentiate yourself. Why should somebody care if they do find you in a database or they do meet you in, a, in, a, in an industry meeting and exchange business cards with you? Why should they care? Why are you any different from the tens of thousands of other research sites out there? So you need to teach them, you need to have a mechanism to teach others in the industry why you are differentiated, why they should care. Talk about your staff, talk about your patient population, talk about your metrics, talk about your uniqueness, your focus. Maybe all you do is NASH research. If all you do is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis research, that's very, very, very focused and could be a reason for the industry to say, wow, this is a sub-specialized research site. We need to put all of our NASH trials there. That would be an example of focus. Your focus could be that you don't do clinical medicine. All you do is research. That's another example of focus. Staff, capabilities, focus, and metrics. Okay, so there is a quick discussion on business development. You need to know your conversion rates. That's going to tell you where you can focus to improve your conversion rates, which improves study award. And then when you're doing these things, relationship, database, and marketing, differentiation, you need to pay attention to each one and show the industry why they should care. Doing all of this is going to build your research empire and help you help me revolutionize research and change this industry. Thank you very much. Implement these things. Reach out to me. Let me know how you're doing. Suggest future topics. Follow us on all the social media channels. LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Like us. Follow us. When you follow us, for example, on YouTube, when you follow us, it helps us then be seen by others. 
We produce this as a podcast. When you follow that podcast and subscribe, it then helps push this material, this content out to other research sites around the country and around the world. I was just told one of the videos that I had done several months ago has become very big in Australia. And, and someone was thanking me for all of the uh, publicity that it created for them in Australia. Pretty cool, it's a small world. So I appreciate it, thank you very much. Thanks for riding along. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.